Hey guys, Romy here, so please like, comment, subscribe. This is my review for <sighs> Love and Hip Hop New York Season 8, Episode 14, Saint <laughs> Part 2. <laughs> so it starts off with Safari. He's talking to Jaque, and he's talking to Jaque because they have this. Why won't this thing focus in on me? Let's figure this out. He's talking to Jaque because he's trying to figure out, all right, Anais is on one. She has problems with Yandy. I mean, Anais is flirtatious. They're both trying to figure out, okay, they, they're, see, this is the dumb part because it's them rehashing everything that's happened so far. And the whole thing is Cayenne's on her way. We know that Bree's there, so there's going to be some type of, uh, you know, some mix-up, some rustle-tussle with them. I don't care, so we're moving on. We're moving on, we're back in New York, and Remy's doing her music video shoot. Sidebar! I will have told Remy, look, we're going to have to redo this again. And I'm not talking about the music video, I'm talking about why. Why, oh why, did they have, I'm looking at her, and I'm looking at her eyes, as she's reading the teleprompter for uh, what she wanted to say with her music video and everything surrounding it. You know, highlighting the major points that she signed a new record deal, that she signed it with Columbia, that she signed a new record deal, that she signed it with Columbia, that she signed a new record deal with Columbia that's now has the sing, sing, single treatment with Lil' Kim. And I'm thinking, okay, so why couldn't we see Lil' Kim? I'm thinking, why are we only seeing you in this car? Why are we... No. No, 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 no. No. You get to get people excited. They have to feel they're going through the motions with you. You go piece by piece. Now we're at this scene. Now we're at that scene. Love and Hip Hop cameras don't need to be there as long as Love and Hip Hop cuts a check. I would have done that differently. But, oh well. So now we're back. And it's Jacque. He's with his friend Bree. Everything's cool for 2.5 seconds. They talk about the song. And that's well. That's beautiful. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. This is where Cayenne comes in. So apparently, Cayenne and Bree. And I said, damn, Bree. Are we sure it's Bianca that's coming down in there as far as having all the issues on the show? Or is it you? Because how is it now? It, it's looking really messy. It's looking very messy. And so then Cayenne comes on. She look, She's looking good. She sits down. Apparently, Cayenne and Brie have issues because of the internet. Brie had said that, oh, Cayenne is a fake, a fraud, um, fraudulent. And Cayenne's just like, Look, this chick going, spinning stuff out at me, and here I am just trying to live my best natural self. And I and I have to deal with this? I have to deal with this? No, you don't have to deal with that. And it looked like they were attempting to try to pretend to go and squash it, but things got worse because we have this quandary of... Ayo, I know it's your girl. And your girl and I don't have personal issues. It's just that people are comparing one to another. And the thing is, I don't even think that she sounds bad. It's not like Cayenne can't rap. It's not that Cayenne can't rap. It's just that, you know, some people were gassing stuff up on social media. I said what I said. She came back with a response. And now we're here. Now we're here. And it, it jumps from... You know what? I have a problem with you. No, I have a problem with you. I shouldn't have a problem with you. No, I shouldn't have a problem with you to, you know, go and say, because the whole thing was Kyan wanted, uh, wanted B to acknowledge that, no, Bree to acknowledge that you said what you said on social media about me. On, it was like, okay, swear. S swear, just like how it sweared on my, um, uh, family, on my kid. Swear it, I swear. It's like on my grandmother. Oh, on your grandmother, you swear? Okay, so then your grandmother's dead. I said. I said. Weren't we supposed to 
squash come to a come? So how do we? And where? Do we, but where? Do we, but how? What? So then that pissed off Bree. Bree decides she wants to be the She Hawk, and she goes and tries to lift up the table and push it on Cayenne. I said, "What type of mess is this? What's going on?" So then Cayenne, she's amped up. Mind you, Bree's the one that's supposed to be upset. Cayenne's the one that's fired. Cayenne's the one that's fired up. <laughs> anyway, she, and I'm thinking you're out, you're out in the islands in the Caribbean. Believe it or not, you can't act a fool like that. What are you doing? You're especially in the tourist spots where the where the money. What are you doing? So of course security's trying to calm her down because then Jacque was like, "Really? Why would you say that? What's going on?" And so that she's getting mad at him now. She's trying to go and put hands on the security. Now she's like, she goes and runs on the beach because she's trying to run after. Bree and I'm thinking, Bree's like, okay, take me to my room. I said, Cayenne, you just got played. You just got played and you got extra angry for no reason. For no reason that was valid, I should say. That's why I should say. For no valid reason. I mean, this woman ran up on the beach, ran up on the security guard. A producer had to come up and say, you need to chill. <sighs> That's not a good look. That's not that's not a good look. Because you were in the wrong. If you were in the right, then we would have said, now why are you blocking this child? Anyway, Rich goes and meets up with his mother and tells his mother that he had an episode. And when I say an episode, I mean he had a seizure. He was in a restaurant and I guess he didn't keep on his regular eating schedule. And so then he started convulsing. And they had to take him to the back. And his mom's just like, look, you need to take your health more seriously. I said, this is an important PSA. And now that the PSA is over, let's go on. So now Cayenne meets up with uh, Mariah Lynn the next day. Because Mariah Lynn uh, is her friend there. She's going to support her regardless. And I said, oh, that's great. That's beautiful. So then Cayenne talks about what happens. You know, oh, Brie, you know you don't like Brie, right? Yeah, 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 don't like Brie. Yeah. So Brie was going and we were having this conversation because Jacques was trying, trying to go and set something up between the three of us just so that we can have a kumbaya moment. The kumbaya moment didn't last long because Brie's been saying stuff about me on social media and trying to get her little minions to go and say stuff about me and trying to go miss me on social media. And I wasn't having it. I wasn't having it. And so then we got into a verbal spat. The verbal spat took a dive because she... I was like, okay, then swear. And she was like, I swear on my grandmother. And then I said, okay, then your grandmother's dead. Even Mariah Lynn had that look of, I know people don't think I have sense. I know people don't think I have sense, but I do. But I... And so then, Brie, um, so then... Speaking of the whole Brie situation, Cayenne said, you know what? I know I was wrong. I know I was wrong. I know I took it too far, but, oh, but I don't like the girl. At this point, it is what it is, and we're just going to have to keep it pushing. I know at some point, I may need to go and do a kumbaya, because that wasn't my character. I'm glad that Mariah Lynn didn't go and enable that, because I would have looked at her with a very large side eye like, and then, knock, 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 in comes Jacque, and Jacque is trying to figure out, so, how did you go from A to Z like that, and bringing up the grandmother? Her grandmother is sick. Like, what, what are you doing out there? I can't be with someone that goes and act that way, and Kyan said, look, look, I don't need you to tell me what to, to say, or to believe, because I know I was wrong. I know I was wrong. I knew I was wrong. That's not the problem here. So, don't worry about it. I know I was wrong. I know I was wrong. And they squash it. They squash it because what else are they going to do? That really was the extent of the conversation. It was, you're wilding. I don't know why you thought it was okay to do all that. But you know you're wrong. Yep. Okay, cool. So we move on. Now we get to <sighs> this little brunch. I'm going to call it a brunch. Where we had Safari, Bree, Juju, uh, Yandy, 
and Jaque, at least, and Jonathan as starters. And this was just, you know, a thank you for coming here and to help out with the children. And they do kind of talk about Anais and how Anais was acting a plum fool. And um, Jonathan has a story to tell. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Jaque has a story to tell. And when he was upset with Cayenne, he didn't want to go back to his room because he knew Cayenne was there. Because Cayenne was trying to figure out where it was. And he was like, oh, no, it's just hanging out. I said, hanging out with who? So then we found out that he was hanging out with Anais. He was Anna hanging out with Anais. And we're all looking at this like, what? You're doing what? With who? With who? But he said, no, nothing happened. I said, I don't believe you. And no one else believes him. We, he, he had that look of, we didn't have sex, but something happened. But something happened. Because you're not telling me that absolutely nothing. We're not that dumb. Come on now. And then in comes Anais. And Anais is talking about how she felt a certain way with Yandy. Because she felt like, even though this was her trip, you're trying to make it seem like this is there to drink and have a good time. Even though when I normally come to the islands, I want to go and have a good time. But you are trying to make it seem like, oh, that's the only reason why I was here for that. I didn't care about the people. That wasn't care about the situation at hand. And we're all looking at Anais like, Anais, Anais, Anais. Yandy wasn't the problem. You had a chip on your shoulder, and everyone else comes to Yandy to defense. I'm thinking, okay, I, don't really, I didn't need all that. But it was the whole thing of we were here on a trip. You made it about you. And that's all what really matters. You made it about you. Safari being messy goes and puts it out there like, yeah, 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 yeah. So when you went and left out of Jonathan's room because you didn't want to go and stay there anymore, why do we have to hear that you were. Which uh Quay and then I East quickly shut that down like nothing happened happened. Let's be very clear. Let's be very clear about that. And I said, Safari, I see a little roll here and your little check over there. Little check. I'm I'm sure it's a nice check. Um so when she, and then he leaves because she's upset, she feels like, oh, she's being ganged up on, and that they're trying to make it into something that it's not. In comes Mariah Lynn because they said, okay, Anais is gone. All right, now's your time. Because if you looked at the setup, how the table was done, there was only one chair, empty chair. So it was just rotating. In comes Mariah Lynn. And again, they're going to be talking about this charity song and what they're going to be doing. Um, Yandy brings it up that, yeah, by the way, I didn't... A sidebar. When Mariah Lynn said that comment about <laughs> people running around like his valley's up in here or something like that. I said, oh my God, that's so New York. Anyway, anyway, Mariah Lynn was irritated because Bree said Bree was happy that Bianca wasn't there when Yandy brought it up. And Mariah Lynn was like, look, oh, wait a minute, but you go and do the same thing. I have to fool. And I'm not going to go unless I'm going to go and sun my friend. And I said, Mariah, just breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe a little bit. Just breathe. Just just breathe a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on now. And so then she was like, you know what? It's not even worth me trying to go and do a huff and puff and blow everything down because we shouldn't even be fighting. Both of our mothers, the places where they came from, the backgrounds that they've had, they're very similar. So there's no reason for us to even be, you know, worn with each other. Bianca Bree got so upset. She got so upset. And I said, wait a minute. And Mariah's trying to figure out, wait a minute. What, what did I say? What did I say? So then, um, in comes everyone now saying, Bree, she's not trying to attack you. She's not trying to attack you. She's both of your mothers have subs had substance abuse issues among other things, and so they both came from very hard backgrounds, very similar backgrounds. So you two are both products of similar environments. There's no reason for you two to war with each other. And so then, once Bree calmed down, she acknowledged the fact that she was overreacting. And so Mariah said, "Look, I'm squashing whatever it is." Re apologized and said. Look, the real issue was with your friend. It's not with you. You didn't do anything personally to me. So I apologize. I said, thank God. The season's almost over. See, this is what should have happened in episode six. 
The season's almost over for us, and now we get... Okay. Alright, so we're moving on. We're back in New York, and here we go with the Creep Squad. Creep Squad's in full effect, and now Jaquay, Snoop, and Safari are part of the whole rich and self Creep Squad. Safari again goes and lets it be known that, hey, but so by the way, your boy, he was in a room with Anais. Excuse me? Now, mind you, they didn't know that Rich introduced Jaquay to Anais. So now it's looking really messy. So then, Rich, I'm thinking, you are not about to be upset about this. You are no, there's no way you're really going to be upset at this. There is no way you're truly going to be upset at this. So he gets up. He gets up. I said, okay, this is doing too much. Why is no one moving? I mean, self didn't even blink. So then he goes and gives Jaquay a hug. Like, ah. I said, it was like, oh, so you got you some? Jack was like, no, I didn't say all that. But you got you some. No, I didn't say all that. But you you, you did, right? I didn't say all that. Calm down. And anyway. <sighs> Guys. Anyway. Remy Ma goes and meets up with Mariah Lynn. Let's be known. So I have this record deal now with Columbia. And uh, I can't be doing that music. I can't do that song with you. I said, Remy, you have good intentions, but we never believe that that song is going to be released anyway. Let's come on now. Let's stop. Um, you didn't have to go and tell a million years why you were going to do that. I, I just didn't see it. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Anyway, Mariah Lynn deserves, to, I mean, she definitely deserves, you know, opportunity in the future but it's just like how everything was transpiring no 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 so Mariah Lynn lets it be known that her and Brie squash it that her and Brie squash the beef and in theory that sounds nice but Remy's not dumb Remy lets it be known I know this is your MO you go and things get so they get so, 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 you do so well, and then you screw up, and I, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I, I just can't do it. And so Bianca understands, um, because Bianca even, Bianca even talked about how with Cayenne, she helped Cayenne understand the errors of her way, and Remy said, that's great, beautiful, beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. I still can't. I still can't. Mm -mm. No, I can't trust. So now we see the Creep Squad. They're going and doing a fitness thing. I said, okay, great. And they get stopped short because Jaque is going to have a meeting with Cayenne. So then the Creep Squad's watching, watching, watching Cayenne and Jaque talk. So Jaque's just like, you know what? After that whole little thing, when we were in the Caribbean and um, when I was upset, I went and did something bad. I, w I was in a room, you know, I told you that already, but I was actually hanging out with a female. You heard the singer Anais, whatever, who, um, well, shh, we, we were hanging out and we smoked some hookah, but before we did do that, she, and before we actually were on the bed together, I mean, we weren't doing anything. We weren't touching. We didn't touch each other at all. We just share hookah. That's it. That's, that's it. Kayan was right already like, Jacque put the nail in the coffin saying, by the way, by the way. She showed me her hoo-ha. I said, what? She did what? She showed me her hoo-ha. She showed me the clay cat. She did. She did. I'm looking at you. Why like you did you? You you didn't tell <sighs> So then Cayenne was over it. Cayenne got up. She was like, let me go because no no no, you do not want me. To go, and, dang! I was I've already been talking for almost twenty minutes. I didn't expect that. Okay, you do not want me to go and sidebar. This is like the longest scene, one of the longest scenes in love and hip hop history. 
because this was in the park. This is in the park. This is in public. Already it's getting colder in winter time, so everyone has their fleeces on and their thermals, their workout gear, uh, and the creep squads. They're watching. They're jumping over fountains. They're hiding behind pillars. I said, the tourists are having a free show right now. I'm trying to figure out who are any of these people. Who are any of these people? <laughs> they're hiding behind stuff. And while Jaque, he's sitting on, he's sitting on, uh, what do you call it? What is it called? Stairs. Cayenne realizes the creep squad. Say, okay, so you're really trying to play me here? So you're really trying to play me here? And so then long story short, Jaque was con able to convince her that, no, that's really what happened. I just wanted to make sure that I was truthful and honest with you. She said, you know what? You need to go and figure it out. Figure out how you're going to fix it. Because right now, this isn't fixed. You just tell me about it. It isn't going to be fixing it. And I thought, oh, don't. Just don't hit him. Just don't hit him. She, she did a nice little, you stupid. But you know what? I, I you, you already clowning. I mean, this whole thing was just dumb. Snoop was on a bike. And they were all circling around him. He finally lets the guys know. And Snoop that. And then you show him the cookie cat. And I'm thinking, what is what is wrong with Anais? Like, I get it. Lib being liberated and all this stuff. But that's not cute. That's not that's not the move that you want to do if you want to be treated and looked at a certain way. I'm sorry it's not. I'm not sorry. That's you. That's on you. Please like, comment, subscribe. Come back next week.